Do you know that barbershops are gonna be a hotspot for ATMs coming in 2022? Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. So I help hundreds of aspiring ATM business owners go from zero ATMs to ATM Business Pro in as little as 30 days. Always remember here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. All right, without further ado, the secrets of placing an ATM in a barbershop and what to look for. All right, so point number one, when you're placing an ATM in a barbershop, one of the things you need to look for is hours of operation. How long are the business gonna be open? Are they open four days a week, five days a week, seven days a week? We don't know, you gotta look for it. Sometimes they're only open three days a week and now you place your ATM in there and they're only open three days a week, transactional volume is not gonna be high. So you wanna make sure that they're open seven days a week, six sometimes you can tolerate, seven is the best thing. And then hours, what hours are they open? Are they only open from 10 to two? Are they open from 10 to seven? What are the hours or operation? Try to make sure they're at least open six to eight hours every day. That is always a good thing. But if they're only open two hours, that's not gonna be very profitable. I suggest you guys walk away because you're just gonna put an ATM, excited about getting a location, but it's not gonna do a lot of transactions. And after all, we're in the game to get a lot of transactions. That's how we make our money. Point number two, six or more chairs. We're always looking for those chairs. We want a busy barbershop. We wanna make sure that there's a lot of people coming in to see other barbers, not just the main barber, and they rent those chairs out. So if we only see two barber chairs, I know it's not gonna be a busy barbershop because again, we do our business on volume and the more people there, the more chance they're gonna take out money to pay for that haircut. So if you're thinking about starting a profitable ATM business, but didn't know how, stay to the end of the video and I will share with you a checklist of how to start the right way, even if you have zero experience. In this checklist, I'll share with you five things you need to know to start your very own ATM business so you can build a passive income source for your family. You'll have a clear roadmap towards ATM business success so you can earn between $250 and $1,500 of passive income every single month. All right, so let's get back to the video. Point number three, when you walk in a barbershop, is there people standing around joking, waiting to get into the barber's chair, or is it always empty? Is it very slow? So if you walk in a barbershop and check it out from time to time, different times, Saturday's always a good time, Friday in the afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, just check it out. Tuesday should be slower, Friday and Saturday should be busy. See that it is, is it busy? Is there guys hanging around just shooting a breeze or are they trying to wait for a haircut? What's the reason? Sometimes the barbershops, you know, it's just a community center, guys hang out, see what's going on at the barbershop, but you know, stop in from time to time, different times, just to make sure that it is busy and there are people hanging around. Point number four, do they take credit card? Are they using a cash app? Now, here's the thing that I want to tell you guys. If they're using credit card, you know what? They'll probably continue to use credit card. But if they're using a cash app, I just got called from a couple barbers. They're looking to buy an ATM. They're looking to place an ATM in their business because now the cash app, they're starting to issue 1099s. Lo and behold to me, maybe not everybody was doing business the right way. And now that because of the 1099s, they might be looking for more of a cash solution. I don't really know what's going on. It's not my concern, but it is a little concern because now we have a facility, they're gonna move away from the cash app, they're gonna move away from the credit cards, and they're going to the ATM where the guys can take out the cash, pay their barber, and everything is beautiful. And it's even more beautiful for guys who are in the ATM business and women too, because now there's a need. They're gonna get rid of the cash app, they're gonna get rid of the credit cards, and now we always look for a solution. And now we are a solution again. So this is a good thing. The new administration, I think they're pumping these, these new rules down for everybody. And this is really gonna help us out in the ATM business because it's gonna provide more opportunity in the barbershop. So if, if you weren't thinking about barbershops, now's a good time to stop in to a barbershop and say, hey, are you guys using a cash app? Do you know the, about the new 1099 rule where they're gonna, everybody who's getting the cash app, they're gonna start checking to make sure that why are they moving money and 1099s. So this is gonna be good for us. I'm not 100% sure what the new rules, but a couple barbers have told me about this. So I'm just bringing it to your attention to see, I don't use the cash app, never used it, so I don't really know. But this is what they're telling me that now that there's gonna be some 1099s involved and they don't like the way that's gonna happen. So they wanna go back to just get the ATM and get cash. So just letting you guys know, 
this is a situation that really can really elevate our ATM business. And point number five, is the barbershop a destination or is it in the middle of the street or in the middle of the block? Why is this important? If it's out in the middle of nowhere and there's nothing else out there, you know what? You've got a captive audience, so that could be a good thing. But sometimes we profit because we put a little sign in the barbershop that says cash inside, ATM inside, and we get a lot of street traffic. People walking in to just get money from the ATM. We also drive people into their store and now we can say, hey, you know what? We put an ATM here, we put a sign on the street, and we can actually drive traffic into your location. That's a benefit for the barber, benefit for the shop, and now it's a benefit for us because now we have the ATM. A lot of times, barber is in the middle of nowhere, a destination spot. I'm not a big fan of that just because I get some street traffic and that usually helps do more sales too for the ATM and for us that put in the ATM into that business. So I'm always looking for, it's in the middle of the block, it's in the middle of the street, corner. That's always a win out in the middle of nowhere. I had found that I don't do so well in those locations. So you know what? I kind of start to shy away from them. We got some great customers, but if we're gonna go anymore, we're not interested in those spots. So I hope those tips help you guys. So if you're interested in starting your own ATM business, so I wanna invite you to my free checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. Top five things you need to start a profitable ATM business, where I'll share with you five things you need to start your profitable ATM business. So you can start earning passive income, make more money for your family, and create more time so you can also spend with your family. So click the link down below to get my free ATM business checklist. Always remember here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Thank you guys very much.